This is episode five of my series of quick tips and features you could easily miss in Beaver Builder. In this one, I'm taking a look at Beaver Thema and the field connection support there is for ACF Pro's option page. That's the Advanced Custom Fields Pro plugin. Let's quickly take a look at their site. This is something that's not included in the free version of ACF, which you'll find on the repository. It is a premium add-on that you'll find on their add-ons page and it's here with an explanation but not much of this will make much sense in context to beaver builder but effectively what it does is allows you to create a options page and with connectors you can then control different areas of content i've not been using this at all because i've not thought of a great way to save time but you could use it, for example, to have clients go and update their address if it's in various different places on the site and have it update in all areas or perhaps their social media. But why I think this has got really exciting is as I'm recording this, the Beaver Builder plugin is in the alpha version of 2.2 and they've just added color field connectors. And I think this really changes everything. So let me quickly show you what I've done here. So this is a simple page. You can see I've got these, well, I've got three colors. I've got some for the headers and I've got a primary and a secondary color, which is applying here. And we can see it here on this module. I've connected all of these up and the background over here. If I go over to my ACF options page here, we'll see that I've got global brand colors. So I'm going to just quickly change the primary color to change it to this sort of greeny color and this one to a kind of darker purple and I'm going to change the header to black let's change I've got some other global content here I've connected up that address so let's say they've upgraded and they're now at 1A Acacia Avenue and I'm just going to remove this Twitter URL as well and we'll go and update that and all being well when I come back to here and do a refresh we should have an entirely different look there we are all the colors have been changed on all the modules and where I've connected them up okay it's not looking particularly pretty all the buttons have changed here also the social icon now I removed the social icon as you can see there's a little eye here so this is one of the new conditionals that we can apply since Beaver Thema 1.2 so I've conditionally hidden this and it's only because I'm in the page build that we can see it. if I press this as done and publish this should disappear as it has so I think this really opens up a lot of opportunities particularly if you're thinking about creating some turnkey solutions on another video, I talked about how we could set up some nice, attractive saved row templates. So we could have some of these really just indicating the layout and allow the options page to do all of the coloring. And I think now we can easily duplicate columns. It's so much easier to sort of build out so many different looks and change all of the color. And just with a few good templates, I'm pretty sure we can create all manner of different kinds of sites. Anyway, let me quickly show you how easy it is just to set up an options page. So I have created a blog post and all we actually need to create options is to place this code into our child themes functions PHP like this. And as soon as we've done that, we will get this options page here. Now, until you've assigned some of the fields, let's just go over to that. So I've got some field groups. Until you've assigned those to the option page, it will show nothing. But even if you do go into the option page, it gives you a hint at what to do. So it's easy. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I think most of you will know how to, but let me just quickly show you how the field connectors work. So they're all here. Let's go to the styles one I set up and let's have a look at it so there we are i've used heading color for this i'm just going to remove this now to, and then we can just you can see it's just turned white under there let me just get rid of this so if i want to set this up for the first time all i need to do is to scroll down come to my option fields and click connect and then put in my name and save and 
we are connected. And then, of course, I could save that row for future use. OK, that's pretty much all I needed to say on this. A few quick things which I've included in the article. I looked at a couple of plugins. One restriction with ACF is that it doesn't support alpha transparency. So I did take a look and there is a plugin that helps with that. But unfortunately, at the moment, and this may change, the Beaver Builder plugin doesn't work with that at the moment. There is also another plugin which I thought was interesting if you wanted to do something more spectacular with your options page and you could probably see how this works. I've not tested it for myself, but it does allow you, if we can see here on the screen options here, it appears to be able to give you different tabbed sections and kind of more information for your options page. So I think this opens up an awful lot of things that we can do. I shall be, I'm sure, doing some more videos on this. But that's enough for this time. If you enjoyed this video, then please give me a thumbs up on YouTube. I really appreciate those. Please consider subscribing to the channel. I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for listening to me. Goodbye.